Okay, so for your Squirtle Otter Pop Cozy, you're gonna need your choice of worsted weight yarn, and this is what I'm using. Um, this is Vanna's Choice, and I forgot the color, because obviously, but any color brown that you would like to use for the shell. Red Heart with Love Daffodil. Red Heart Super Saver Turquoise and some white. Your G Hook 4.0, E Hook 3.5, scissors, tapestry needle, um, and a counter, and a little bit of black yarn for the mouth or nose, whatever that is, and some felt for the eyeballs. And I think that's it. Okay, let's get started with your G hook and your turquoise. Oh, hi, baby kitty. What you doing, kitty kit? Okay, so we're first gonna start with a slip knot. It's um, like so. You take your yarn, put it over on itself, and you hold it. You're gonna insert your hook. You're gonna grab your yarn and pull it through that loop. And then you're just gonna tighten, but not too tight, cause that's part of your chain. And then you're gonna chain nine. Chain is yarn over, and you just pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that was two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then you're gonna second, then you're gonna second, you're gonna second that. Then you're going to half double crochet in the second stitch from your hook. So you're gonna yarn over. You're not gonna go in to this one. You're gonna go into this one. You're gonna insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Okay, then you're gonna um, half double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're gonna turn your work, but you're gonna make a half double crochet in that same stitch, but kind of turn your work at the same time, if that makes sense. So that was one, and now you're gonna work in these little X marks the spot and those spaces. So that was one. You're gonna go into the next chain, that's two. You're gonna go into this next chain. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you're gonna slip stitch to the very first chain. So you insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and pull through in chain one. Okay, so we need four rows of turquoise. So that was one row. So, I'm sorry, round. So we need three more rounds of half double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So then we're gonna slip stitch. You get over here. Really? Really? Slip stitch in the first stitch. Chain one. So we need four and I just did two. So let's do two more rounds of this color. And 
16. So I did four rounds of half double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch, but I'm not gonna chain one on this one because I'm gonna attach my daffodil right here. And this is how I attach it. I'm sure there's many other ways. This is how I do mine. I'm going to loop through here and chain one. I just kind of tighten it all up. And then I'm gonna half double crochet in that same stitch. And I'm gonna do that um, three rounds. So I'm gonna do three rounds of daffodil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Uh, slip stitch chain one. Okay, let's do two more in yellow. Do not cut this off because we're going to get back to it. And 16. Okay, so I did my three rounds of my daffodil. I'm not going to chain one because I'm going to go back to my turquoise. Just like attaching the yellow, you go back to this color and chain one. And tighten it all up. Where to go? Okay, and we're gonna go back to half double crochet in that first stitch. Next stitch, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. stitch chain one now you can cut off your daffodil and we need to do <clears throat> excuse me you need to do four rounds of turquoise so we just did one so we need three more of half double crochet and 16 thank you crow slip stitch chain one so we've done one two three four and now we're just going to do one round of single crochet around. So insert your hook in that same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. Next stitch, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And we're going to do that all the way around. Okay. Insert hook, pull through, pull, blah, 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 pull through, pull through, chain one, and some nip snap. Okay, so it should look like this. Okay, so there's your base, base on your base, and get this out of my way. And then we're gonna go to our brown, and we're gonna use our E 3.5 hook. Okay. Itchy nostril. Okay, so we are going to use a magic circle. Now, magic circle is like so. You're going to start like you're going to do a slip knot like that, and then you're going to hold it. You're going to insert your hook. You're going to grab your yarn. 
and then you're gonna chain one, okay? And then you're gonna do six single crochet inside this magic circle. So you go in the circle, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops, insert, pull up, yarn over, both loops. So that was two, three, four, five, six. Now the magic part, so you're going to take your little strand and you just tighten it and you have a circle. Then you're going to slip stitch in your very first stitch, chain one, and you're going to do two single crochet in each. So one and two, next stitch, one and two two, next stitch, one and two, next, two, next, two, and last one, one and two, slip stitch, chain one. Okay, then you're going to do one single crochet two single crochet so one single crochet two in the next stitch one and two one in the next stitch two in the next stitch one in the next two in the next one in the next two in the next one in the next stitch two in the next stitch one in the next stitch, two in the next stitch. Slip stitch, chain one. Now we're gonna do two single crochets in the, f I'm sorry, you're gonna do one single crochet in the first two stitches, and then you're gonna do two single crochet in the third stitch. So one single crochet, one single crochet, Hi here. And then you're going to do two in the third. So one single crochet, one single crochet, and two single crochet. One single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, two in the next. Okay. One, one, two. One, 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 two. One, one, two. One, one, and two. Okay, slip stitch. But now we're going to change to white. So you get your white. Attach your white, chain one, tighten it all up, and then you're going to single crochet in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Slip stitch, chain one. Now, I hot glue mine to the back of the character, but you can leave a long tail um, to sew it on. Okay. Let's weave in all our ends, and then we will get to the nose or mouth, whatever that is, and then um, his eyeballs. Okay, to finish up your squirtle, 
I think that's what this is, Squirtle. I cut out a little pieces, circles of eyes, or of felt, I'm sorry, and I put a knot in there for the pupil. So we're going to do that for this one. You got your circle. I guess we should make a knot first so it doesn't go through. Get off. And then... And then make another knot for the pupil. And then go back. And that makes the little pupil. And then I just cut off the excess because I'm just going to hot glue it. So this doesn't go anywhere. Okay, we'll let that one dry a little bit. Okay, so for what I did, I did it on the second, right there, I think. Something like that, I think I did. So, There's one. Oh, it's upside down. And then we're going to do the little, I don't know if that's the mouth or the snout, but we're going to take two strands of black, of black yarn, or you can use embroidery floss, whatever works for you. And we're going to stitch his little thing on there. And I'm probably going to go around twice. Um, we don't have a bunch of tails to weave in. And then maybe go around it one more. And there's your little snoot. Or mouth, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to tie it off. So then we still gotta attach our our shell. So let's stretch this out a little bit. And then we're going to Okay. Hey. 
There's Squirtle's shell. There's his little face. Now all you gotta do is put your Otter Pop in or your Freezer Pop, whatever, and enjoy. I hope you guys like it. Make it, <clears throat> excuse me, share it, follow, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.